They make it till weaning day and then they go down. That's so good. I'm exhausted. It's doing pretty good. Thanks Daddy. So, Good morning, it's Sunday and we are on day seven of corn harvest. It is uh, almost noon hour, uh, which means Sandy ate lunch early, which means I'm gonna be I'm gonna be real, real hungry by the time we're done this today. Beautiful day, not a cloud in the sky. And really, we could not ask for anything more except for maybe just more days of this. Now, the one thing is we were greeted with a heavy, heavy frost this morning, which means now the field that uh, we're pulling these wagons out of, it's got a real greasy top layer now because of, because of that frost. Sort of acts like a really, really heavy dew and it was already pretty greasy and shiny. So we are tracking a little bit of mud right when we come out of the field here. So at the end of the day, we'll just have to see how it looks. And if it's too bad, we will grab our loader and scrape off the road. There. Well, there. So it's just me making the turn. You just get mud off the uh, field here. Part of the greasiness is because we took this corn off uh, in September for corn silage. So there's no residue. Whereas when you take corn off, like with the combine, it spits out all the leaves and the stalk, every, everything except for the kernel gets blown back onto the ground. So there's quite a bit of residue. You can see just the difference in the ground there. Whereas with corn silage, you take the entire plant off as feed. So um, the residue sort of helps keep the mud to a minimum. But uh, yeah, we don't have that in this field, but it is what it is. Well, it's that time of day again. We have once again filled our wet bin. It was almost right exactly 30 acres. Uh, so yeah, we are done for the day, but what we are doing is filling all the wagons uh, to keep this dryer going tonight and actually tomorrow morning because our combine's having a tiny little service on it in the morning. So Mark said, let's fill all the wagons so we can keep this thing going for the morning. I also have to wean lambs tomorrow morning with uh, Carissa. On the last video, someone asked me about this bed and who sleeps out here. When we originally built this dryer shack, Mark used to have to stay all night to watch and babysit this dryer, but since then everything is on his phone, like all our controllers. He can watch and control everything from his phone. It makes harvest a lot nicer. He can stay in the house with the dogs instead of out here in the dog house. Okay, Cammy, show me what you got. I've been waiting for this video all day. Rescuing. Uh, it's a very cold morning, but it's Fiona. not windy, that's one big thing, Cammy. so, you know. She's so pretty, I love her. I actually messaged Cammy last week and I said, I love Fiona. Like, if if I lived in the UK, I would ask if I could have her. Oh my god, I like it. really are winded. <gasps>
Good morning. It is, uh, it's been a busy one. Just finished weaning this really nice group of September lambs. But first thing when I came in this morning, this little lamb was off his back end and everybody looked fine yesterday when I peeked my head in. So my first guess is white muscle, which is like selenium, I think, issue. But I just texted Rex to see what he thinks. I left him over here so I could keep an eye and treat him. But uh, yeah, we'll see what he says and I'll let you guys know, but uh, it never fails. Like. They make it till weaning day and then they go down. That's, it's not really fair. He's a really nice lamb. Yeah. Really? <laughs> Once he's up, as soon as he starts walking, not so good. Piper? Big lamb. Checking in on my freshly weaned lambs. They look really good. There's a few little runty runts. So I know two of them for sure. Their mom started feeding a set of really nice twins because their mom died. And I tried to bottle feed them, they wouldn't take a bottle. So we have two for sure that are very undersized. But for the most part, the group looks pretty good. <laughs> I think the plan will be, uh, we'll keep them all in this pen until the bottle lambs sort of train them how to drink. That's, that's the goal. There's quite a few more water bowls in this pen than the other side. Tomorrow I think I'm gonna try to weigh the rest of those market lambs, the June group, and then uh, any remainders, like any that are just too small to really fit the group, I might throw in with these guys. And then we might just separate the pen in half, put half on one side, half on this side. Um, or I might separate males and females. I haven't really decided yet because uh, this group I'm not keeping any back for replacements so I can keep them together if I wish. But we will figure that out another day. Today's a busy day. I think I have to head back right now over to the other barn. Chris will be done feeding and I think Mark wants me to clean out one of those pens. I think it's going to be just a whirlwind week of uh, work. All right, I just got off the phone with Rex. He said it could be white muscle or it could be injury. So we are giving him selenium, dexamethasone, and Medicam painkiller. So we'll see what that does for us. What am I looking for? Dex. Okay, and the last one was Medicam. Okay, let's make this little guy feel better, shall we? <laughs>
Hi, it is already the end of the day. I apologize for not really filming anything, but it's been the same thing. We're literally in the same field as we've been for the last two days. Uh, it is currently, it's dark, so I don't know, 5.30, <laughs> 6. Our bin is full. Again, our wet bin is full again, so we're sort of bottlenecked. Uh, so what we're doing is filling wagons just like we did last night. There's Mark right there. Hi, honey. I'm exhausted. The jobs that I did today usually are like one day jobs. Like if I wean, I'm usually screwed for the rest of the day. Like I'm really sore. And when I clean out a barn, I usually try to do like one pen a day because I'm, I usually am pretty sore as well. There's a lot of, um, there's a lot of tractor work, but there's also a lot of actual manual cleaning as well. So uh, yeah, I did all that by, I think I was done around one and then I had lunch and then we came out at about 1.30 and started this field. So I don't know how much he's gonna have left here. He said he had 24 rows um, and then we have this tiny little field right beside me here. And I don't know, he'll, he'll maybe take that off tomorrow, I don't know. Cause we're running out of wagons now. I think I'll sign off here and uh, if you see me again tonight, great. If not, I'll see you tomorrow. That is really nice to see. Good morning, you guys. We're starting early again today. It's about six. Uh, I wanna get the second side cleaned out. I actually pushed Carissa back an hour or so um, just so I can get a lot of this done before she has to come. We're gonna move these U's over for a little bit, move this little guy over. This is good to see. So he's definitely still struggling on that back left. But he's moving a lot better than he did yesterday morning, so that's a good sign. What are you saying? Probably doesn't help that mama's in the next pen.
talking too loud, or is it just me? We have relocated. This is the remaining lambs, market lambs from my June group. Uh, they just need to be weighed. I'm gonna weigh them all. Now there's gonna be a few little runties that just never grew that much. I'm actually going to add them to this pen and see if we can get a few more pounds into them. If I move them over here, then they will uh, assist in training these guys how to drink out of the water bowls. They're pretty quiet for day two, so maybe they've already figured it out because I did leave the bottle babies in here for a couple days before these guys got in here. I think I'm gonna aim for like 70 pounds and over because I know darn well there'll be some 70 pounders on this side. So then um, it, there won't be any bullying from the older ones. Um, hopefully just training. That's, that's the goal. Carissa's back at the other barn doing chores. She has an oil change at 10.30, so um, I told her I would take care of this, this side of the road if she wanted to continue that side of the road. I think we had about, I forgot to actually check, I think probably around 25 that are gonna go tomorrow morning. And then a few, maybe four or five that I just put back with this pen. One has a swollen joint. So uh, I started treating him last week and I can't ship him when he's got antibiotics in him. So he'll be with us for a while. Hopefully he turns around. This is who was left. The boys are just heading out now with the combine and the buggy. Uh, we're starting another field today, so that's sort of nice. We got the big field done yesterday. Look at my boy. He's doing pretty good. He's trying. So this morning we were able to put the two pens of uh, Close-up used together. They're all in one pen now, which is really nice. So they get fed together. So before we had some in the back of that pen there and then the rest were in this pen. But now they're all together. And the ones that I just weaned yesterday are just on the other side of the gate there. They're just right there. So I did text Rex one more time and uh, with just a, an update video on our little buddy. And I said, was that treatment just a one and done or do I have to repeat it? Because he didn't really say yesterday in his text. He said to do dexamethasone uh, today and tomorrow and then the painkiller Medicam again tomorrow because Medicam lasts two days. So let's hope um, maybe by the weekend he'll be strong enough I can get him over to the other barn and then this pen will be sort of ready to go if if by any chance there's use that uh, need special treatment or whatever at least this end will be open for any unforeseen circumstances. Hopefully we don't have any of those this year. That's the goal. We're, we're manifesting that. All right, I better go be a grain farmer now for the rest of the day. She's making all that noise. All right, we have moved into this field. Mark's got a few rows sort of chunked out for us here. Um, this is the field usually every year we get caught. If it's a bad year, this is the field we sort of get caught on. It's rented ground. It does not have field tile in it, so it tends to be challenging on a wet year. This year's a wet year, but our ground conditions have gotten 
a lot better. The last couple days we've had sun and very low humidity and it's still a bit greasy but not near as bad as I've seen this field. Uh, so yeah, it's just challenging as to where to put wagons. There's renters that live here and you know, we, we don't want to wreck people's grass and and yeah, there's where we used to load wagons, they've done some digging in that area, so we're not sure if it's too soft to park wagons there, and there's like rocks everywhere now, so every year seems to be a little bit of a surprise at this farm for whatever reason. Yeah, we will hopefully get about half done this field today before we're filled up again. Now the moistures are lower today. This is, we grew some pretty short day corn in here knowing full well that this is our wettest field and we knew we had to get it off in decent time. So we we're down to 24.6. I mean, 24.6 is still 10 points off where it should be, but it's closer. Your trick. Where do you Both go? Pipes. Where's Where do you the, go? What's up here? <laughs> Cat dog. All right. Well, we have made yet another day. I think we have just completed day. I've sort of been forgetting to keep count. I think we just finished day nine of corn. I don't know how much is left. I think we possibly could be under 200 acres, which is great. And the 200 acres are like right across the road. We do have probably half a day or more where we were today. And then we can move over to this area here. Looking forward to that. So the end is in sight. We have gotten a lot done in the last two days. We cleaned my barn, we weaned some lambs, and we took up a ton of corn. Even though we got the same amount of corn off today, pretty much, maybe even a little more, uh, it took a little longer because we were having some problems with our dryer. Contactor issues again, but Mark, uh, I think he figured out what it is and we're gonna order a part first thing tomorrow morning and have that on hand if this thing wants to quit overnight on us, which hopefully it doesn't because that's gonna put us back. And they're calling for a 90% chance of rain on Friday. Regardless, Mark said, even if it rains, we're gonna keep going because next week they're calling for snow and that is bad. Well, I'm gonna run and get my last two set of wagons and we're gonna call it a night.